Hello and welcome to the second part of this tutorial um, on how to set up and use the Perfect Player app with Mega IPT subscription. So in the first one uh, we showed you how to install and set up and then remove the advertising of the Perfect Player app. In this one here we're going to show you how to navigate around the folders and playing things. So let's get started. I guess the first thing we're going to need to do is open up our Perfect Player app. And for purposes of copyright protection, I have turned the volume off uh, for this, as the uh, show's going to play in the background while we're navigating. So once it starts up with all the channels, the very first and easy basic control is to press the word OK. And on the left hand side here you'll have a list of channels. Because there are over 2000 channels to scroll through, some of them are doubled up, there is a selection of grouping them into folders that we selected when we set the uh, perfect player up with this. So to get to your folders, you have up, down, left, right, arrows and an OK button. Simply that's about all you're going to need. You also have your volume button, so if you find that you can increase or decrease the volume. There are two sets of volume on this. To navigate to your folders, simply press the left arrow once and you will be presented with all channels the groups of the different channels from the UK, a VIP section for uh, European, uh, sorry, the English Premier League, uh, pay-per-views, uh, specialty sports channels, things like that from around the world. Further down we're going to see some of the other languages and then some on-demand movies and well, I think they're just movies actually in this one here. So that's the uh, list. So I'm going to say I want to go and watch a documentary channel out of the UK. They have the word factual. I simply highlight the word factual, press OK. On the right here I can see what's on each channel. Uh, a couple of them are missing information. So if I want to watch this one here you'll notice there is a low quality and a medium quality one and depending on your internet connection you can choose the low or medium and some of the major channels and the sports channels some of the major sports channels will also have a full high definition version so the information there when we select will let us know the quality of the stream down the bottom and that we're using the hardware decoder instead of a software decoder so once again, change channels, press the OK button, go to a different folder, I hit the left arrow once, I'll go to sports, I can come through here and find there is a cricket channel here with a high definition version, a 1080p version, and hopefully there will still be a cricket channel down here of a low version for low internet server users. So simply press the OK button. It'll do a little circle. It'll let you know that's SD, standard definition, We're using the hardware decoder. And this one also has subtitles available to it if you can access them with a mouse. So if I were to go back to the last channel I was watching. Whilst we're here, we don't press the OK button or anything, you simply press the left arrow once and it'll go back to the last channel. So if you're trying to switch between this channel and that channel, but you don't want to keep going to the folders, simply press the left arrow only. Don't press the OK button because that's going to bring up the channel folders. So if I want to go back to the cricket channel, I simply press the back button, uh, the left arrow once. And I've got some internet problems there. So that's how that one works.
if I press the left arrow and I don't want somebody to use the German channels I can simply hold the OK button down for a couple of seconds one two the menu will come up and you'll see there's a lock group here now at this point I'm going to need to create a pin as well so if I go to lock group and let's say I want to do the same for Spanish these are still accessible at the moment so they're a uh, little grayed out that's all to lock them out completely press the OK button or the menu button for uh, OK button for a couple of seconds or the menu button to pop this up we will have to go to the settings we will need to go to graphic user interface GUI and then we're going to have to set up a pin code so we can use one, two, three, four. don't give that out So I hit the cancel button then. One, two, three, four. It's only four digits. I'm going to need to put the mouse on here. There we go, so the pin number has now been enabled. Now if you want to know how I got that mouse to work, there is a little picture of a mouse, and on the bigger one I think it's called the word cursor. If you put the cursor on, the little cursor is going to come up on the screen when I hit the up button. You see it's very slow, so I'm holding the up button for a long time for it to move up and down. And to turn it on, I hold the mouse button or the cursor button in for a couple of seconds and the cursor no, lo no longer works. So it's still not locked anything, they're all still working. So once again I'm going to lock these as well. So I highlight the group that I want to lock, press the OK button for a couple of seconds, then release it. Go down to lock group and now one, two, three, four is my pin that I set up and they are locked now. To completely lock it I have to exit twice, so back back twice. The Perfect Player app closes down. Open up Perfect Player and those are locked. So now I'll do a quick demonstration on lock, uh, them not working while it's locked and then uh, unlocking it so it will work and the only way to get it to lock again is to put the pin number in. <clears throat> So here's a channel that does work. It's probably offline at the moment. Like that. And press the OK button and I'll go to a the German channels that were locked. And 13th Street. So the only gateway to get it to work is to put my PIN number in. And now it will play. That means now every channel that has been locked is now available to work. So for instance, let's go to Spanish. And they're now not asking for the PIN number. So the only way to get the PIN number to lock it again 
let's put another channel on here is to go back back twice press the OK button exit perfect player open perfect player And once again, if I go to the ones that are locked, a pin number now comes back up again. So another thing that you can use with these is if you like to watch a particular channel, so I'm going to say I like to watch Premier Sports for the Rugby World Cup at the moment, or Rugby League, or maybe I like to watch Rugby Union and it always appears on the same channel. Then what I can do is highlight it, press OK for a couple of seconds, bring up the menu and add to favourites. Now when I come out to here, Let's put a few more in, the favourites, say BBC One. And maybe Sky One for instance, or Sky Living. Show my favourites. Now just my favourite channels are going to come up for me instead. And there is my favourite channel playing, so I'm not having to go through the entire list every single time. So let's show you that again. We need to bring up the menu. Show all first. So let's do that again. Let's put sports. We'll put... UK Sky Sports Action, because that's where Rugby Union plays. Add Favourites, so that's now a favourite TV channel. Uh, and let's do Formula One, for instance. So how did I get the little menu up? Once again, go to Cricket. Hold the OK button down for a couple of seconds. Up comes the menu. Put the heart on it, add to favourites. And if I want to get to my favourites, so it doesn't matter what screen you're in. Hold the OK button down. Sorry, we do need to have the information up on the screen. Hold the OK button down for approximately two seconds. And down the bottom it says show favourites. And they're still in folders. Or if you've only got a couple, you can go to the word all. And if I want to get back to the full list, once again, have your groups or your channels up. Hold the OK button down for approximately two seconds. And change it to the word show all. And now all our channels are back again for us to go through. So hopefully that makes it easy for you to learn how to navigate the Perfect Player app. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below or catch me on my Facebook page. And uh, share this with your friends and family. And I hope this was easy to understand. And until our next tutorial, I hope you have a good day. And it's bye for now.